Hi, this is Michelle here at AppWorks, and today I'm going to share with you something I wish I had learned about a lot sooner than I did, and that is the data viewer. It's extremely useful when writing and debugging scripts or calculations, and it's really easy to learn and use. The data viewer is one of FileMaker's built-in developer tools, and prior to FileMaker version 17, you needed a copy of FileMaker Pro Advanced in order to use them. If you have a copy of FileMaker 17 or later, you can simply turn on these developer tools in your settings. I'll show you how to do that first. I'm on a Mac, but the steps are pretty much the same on Windows. On a Mac, you'll find the Preferences option in the top menu by clicking on FileMaker Pro Advanced. If you're on a Windows machine, the only difference is you'll find this Preferences option under the Edit menu. I'll open my preferences now. We're looking for a checkbox that says use advanced tools within the general tab. If this box isn't already checked, just know that you will need to restart FileMaker for the change to take effect. So we'll click OK. Now that we've enabled the advanced tools, you should see tools as an option here in the top menu. This is where you'll find FileMaker's developer tools, including the script debugger, which we'll cover in another video. We'll open our data viewer now, and you'll notice there are two tabs at the top, current and watch. The current tab will show you fields and variables that are in use by a script while it's currently running. Because of this, the current tab will likely and usually be empty unless you're currently running a script through the script debugger. Sometimes you will see global variables here, which are the variables with the double dollar signs, since they are independent of scripts. If we switch over to the Watch tab, you'll likely see an empty window here as well, unless you've used the Data Viewer before. The Watch tab is used to monitor expressions, as FileMaker calls them. Expressions are created manually by clicking the Add button here, and they'll remain in this list until you delete them. Expressions can be created to test long or complex calculations or to watch variables and fields while running scripts or flipping through records. We'll talk more about the current tab in a later video when we cover the script debugger. So for now, let's focus on the watch tab and the expressions we can create. I'm going to add a new one now by clicking the add button. And you may notice this looks a lot like the calculation window that opens in other parts of FileMaker. The biggest difference is that there is a section down here that shows you the results of your calculation instantly. Another feature of the Data Viewer's calculation window is this Automatically Evaluate checkbox, which does exactly what it sounds like. It will allow you to automatically evaluate all of your expressions without needing to click this Evaluate button. I usually leave this on, so we'll leave it as is for now. To keep things simple, we are going to write an expression to calculate a date that is two weeks from today. We'll use FileMaker's native function getCurrentDate, and we'll just add the number 14 to it to get a date that is two weeks from today. We'll click Monitor to save it, and we can now view it here in our list. Let's make this a little more useful and try a calculation that uses a date stored in a field. One thing to note before we continue is that the data viewer is context-based, meaning you will need to be sitting in the correct context in order to reference the field in your calculations. Otherwise, you're going to see a unrelated table error like this one. Let's continue. We're going to check to see if this date is past due by comparing it to the current date. So let's start a new expression now. And we'll choose the due date here. And we're going to check to see if it is less than the current date. If it is, we're going to see a number 1 down here as our result, meaning our calculation is true. Otherwise, we'll see a 0 for false. Now that we've completed our expression and we can see that it's calculating as expected, we'll click Monitor. Just a reminder, we are looking to see if this date is less than the current date, which of course, 
as of this recording, is December 5th. We'll flip through some records now, and we will watch this result change as the date changes. Pretty cool. Now, if we had written this to test a calculation before using it inside of a script, we could simply copy this expression and paste it inside our script wherever we need it. This may not seem like a big deal right now with something so simple, but it's pretty handy when you're writing long or complex calculations. In fact, I think you'll find that it is much easier and faster to test out your calculations here rather than debugging them inside of a script, which could be very tedious. And I may be speaking from experience. Well, that covers the Data Viewer's Watch tab for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our next video as well, where we'll discuss the current tab along with the script debugger. Thanks for watching.